Now it's time to design your product. Hi, I'm John Erickson. In our first video, we discussed the planning process and how we use the product requirements document to gather critical information to use in your product design. Now in this video, we will take that information and we will use it to develop your design. Before we can begin the actual design, we need to do some research and identify the technical risks for the product. These risks need to be mitigated before we can begin design. We can then move on to the industrial design and the user interface design. This is a pivotal time for customers because they can finally see how their product will look and how it will interact with the user. Designs may be represented through mechanical models, electrical schematics, PCB designs, embedded firmware, and software. But there is also a lot of work behind the scenes as the design team prepares a detailed list of product components, including commercial off-the-shelf and custom parts. These components are then organized into assemblies and sub-assemblies to create a comprehensive bill of materials. This part of the design stage is a very detailed process that must be handled with precision. Errors here can cost you time and money down the road. The design stage gives a customer its first look at their future product. It's also the opportunity to reduce the technical risks and to get the supply chain started. If you have a product idea, we'd love to talk to you about it. To learn more, call us or visit our website.